On this episode of Sloan's Wilderness Expeditions, we reach the finale of our Florida Forgotten Coast Expedition with a visit to one of America's oldest wildlife refuges, encompassing over 80,000 acres. This is St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge. St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge is located in the Big Bend area of the Florida Panhandle and includes islands, coastal marshes, tidal creeks, and estuaries of seven northern Florida rivers. The refuge was established in 1931 as a wintering ground for migratory birds, and we were lucky enough to visit during peak season. The refuge also offers outdoor opportunities for hiking, biking, and fishing, with over 17,000 acres of designated wilderness. We're starting our adventures here at St. Mark's at the Headquarter Pond Trail. So that last pond we checked out was pretty cool. We got to see an alligator, an egret, some moorhens, a kingfisher, and others. Now let's go check out this trail. Let's go up and around the old fire tower. There's just something about a live oak forest it really gives it that primeval, tropical feel. So this is a bird blind. But it looks like the birds decided to nest in it, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's not much bird action here right now, but it looks like there was once. We are now in the stony bayou. Let's see what kinds of wildlife we can find. Pretty neat place, isn't it, Catfish? Yeah. A lot of good bird action here. What are we on the hunt for now, Catfish? Alligator. He's right below us, right down there.
even when the birds that we're seeing and such gets a little bit repetitive, it's still a great hike. I mean, you can't beat the scenery. A lot of good bird action going on. I think we just found us a little gator hole over here too. Stony Bayou is really cool. It had lots of wildlife. Now it's time to go check out this lighthouse. We're out here checking out the St. Mark's beach line. It's not your typical beach. But yeah, that's a pretty cool lighthouse, huh, Catfish? Yeah, sure is. Built in 1831, St. Mark's Lighthouse is the second oldest lighthouse in Florida and is still operational today. Standing at 82 feet high, its 1,000 watt light is visible for 19 miles offshore, helping guide mariners to the entrance of the St. Mark's River. It has withstood storms and hurricanes. During the Civil War, Confederate troops removed and hid the lens in the marsh to deny the light to Union forces. It is a registered National Historic Landmark. So that's our little adventure here today at St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge. Really cool place. I am super impressed. Catfish, what are your thoughts on it? I thought this place was really cool. There are like tons of birds in the water and we saw like five alligators at once. Yeah, that was neat, wasn't it? Yeah, that was. Yeah, I think our adventure around the uh, Stony, Stony Pool, number two, had the most of the wildlife, at least the greatest variety. Really cool place though, just in general. So many trails and so much wildlife to see. Um, so worth coming out here. It kind of marks the end of the Forgotten Coast section of Florida and it's been so worth it. Yeah. Well, we're moving on. Till next time. Peace, peace out. out.